Hello, and welcome to today's episode of the Joe Pometto Law Show. I am your host, Attorney Joe Pometto. The title of today's episode is The Five Stages of the Criminal Justice Process. Today's episode is going to be about the five stages of the criminal justice process. Now, keep in mind that these five stages are specific to Pennsylvania. However, most other states are going to have a similar process, so this will still provide you with some useful information. So, the five stages of the criminal justice process in Pennsylvania are as follows. Number one, the preliminary arraignment. Number two, the preliminary hearing. Number three, the formal arraignment. Number four, the pretrial conference. And number five, the trial. Now, there are a couple of other stages in the criminal justice process which I have left out. That includes arrest, sentencing, uh, appeals, and a couple other that, depending on the case, may work their way in there. However, I have chosen these five because it is a simplified framework to help us understand how the process works on a step-by-step basis. I've also included these five because someone who is charged with a crime, a defendant, will have to show up on these five occasions. So today I'm just going to touch lightly on the five stages and in subsequent episodes I'm going to go into each one in more detail. So, the first stage is called the preliminary arraignment. Uh, If you are charged with a felony or a misdemeanor, the first stage for you may be arrest. However, in some cases, you may get a, you may find out that you have a case against you by summons, either through the mail or a citation that is given to you. Um, Once you have been charged with a crime, either you've been arrested or you've been notified by summons, the, in Pennsylvania, the state has to, has to give you a preliminary arraignment within 48 hours. The preliminary arraignment is sometimes also called seeing the judge for the first time. This is when you will go before a judge, the case is new, and the judge will decide what your bond is going to be for the lifetime of the case. So it's an important first stage, and if you can have an attorney there, it's definitely worth it. There's more to it than that. I'll go into it at a later time. The second stage is the preliminary hearing. Uh, the preliminary hearing is uh, an early opportunity um, to, to assess uh, the strength of the case and also, I would say, the seriousness of the case. So at the preliminary hearing, you have a right to a hearing. Uh, it would be a short hearing, generally, okay? And uh, the Commonwealth only has to put a little bit of evidence to see the case go to the next stage. Uh, an important thing to know about the preliminary hearing is it is not your trial. However, it is the first stage where you have a hearing. It is the first opportunity to learn about the case, get a sense of what the prosecution wants from the case. And it's also your first opportunity to attack the case and or settle it. After the preliminary hearing, you will have a formal arraignment. In Pennsylvania, the formal arraignment is just a paper date. But it is a date that you do have to go to. You will be subpoenaed to go to the formal arraignment. At the formal arraignment, they will give you a piece of paper and they will give you your next trial, your next court date. And that next court date will be the the pretrial conference. Now, the pretrial conference is also a bit of a formality. Uh, The important things that will be done there is you will pick your trial date. It's the first time you will choose whether you want a jury trial or a non-jury trial. And it is also a, a good opportunity to talk to the prosecutor, understand what your sentencing is, and if there's going to be an opportunity to settle the case. Now, after the pretrial conference, you will have your trial date. Now, trial itself is is a very uh, complicated process. There's a lot to know about it. 
um, your trial will be either before a judge or a jury. If you pick a judge, the judge will decide the facts of the case. They will decide guilt or innocence, and then they will also do the sentencing. If you pick a jury, the jury will decide guilt or innocence, and then a judge, after that phase is completed, will do your sentencing. The important thing to know about the trial is this is your opportunity at, uh, at justice. Uh, this is when the prosecutor has to put the evidence against you, and it's also when you get to first put any evidence that you have um, out there as well in front of, uh, in front of uh, an ultimate decision maker. Um, so those are the five stages. In subsequent episodes, I will go into more detail. Uh, I, I hope that you learned something here. We'll run through them one more time. Preliminary arraignment, preliminary hearing, formal arraignment, pretrial conference, and trial. Uh, thank you for joining me for today's episode and look for uh, my future episodes uh, to get more detail on each of the stages and also to learn about some of the stages that I left out. Thank you. Mm -hmm.